Life Experience by J. Gabrielle Chapter 4 Bear Plan Angela rocked in her rocking chair on her front porch. She could hear her partner Joe bustling in the kitchen. Joe came out to the porch. Morning, babe, she said. Hi, honey, responded Angela. I've got a list of people for you to call. Uh, why? For my bear plan. Bear plan. Yes, I need volunteers. For your bear plan. Okay, Angela continued. You remember how I read bears are afraid of tigers? Yeah, Joe said tentatively. I asked Charleston TC to pick up some motion sensor speakers. I see where you're going with this, Joe interjected. So you make the calls? I will if you give me some sugar. Angela pulled the stool that Joe sat on close to her and gave her a big kiss. Thanks, honey. You're the best. Charles and T.C. were preparing for the bear plan, too. Do you think it will work? T.C. asked. I don't know. Angela wants to try it, though. Wary, T.C. said. I don't know. It seems like it might call other real cats to the area. Well, Charles stated. We're going to find out soon. Not scared, are you? He asked with a smile. Who, me? No way! Just concerned that real wild cats could come and eat Angela's chickens. Charles was not convinced. You do know Florida is the home of the Florida panther, right? Come on, buddy, Charles said as he put his arm around her shoulder. You know I've got your back. Angela was preparing her menu. Soon the house and yard would be filled with her friends. She wanted to make something special. After all, she and her friends were making her house the first one surrounded by motion-activated speakers that played the sound of roaring tigers. Very cool. To be continued. <coughs>